Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh Hashem Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and truth. And um, Shalom to the brothers that's learning, listening, preparing to go on that battlefield, and to the few sisters. Um, this is going to be an introduction to a video I found which is quite good, you know, going into, you know, the history of famines and, and so forth. And, and basically uh, looking ahead at the things that are to come, which of course we um, we uh, uh, um, acknowledge because it's written of in the scriptures. Because the Lord is going to send a, a great famine upon the earth, you know, as a form of judgment. And in particular on, uh, on the, the West, okay, right, uh, beginning with America. Even and and those are the places where people least expect there to be a famine. All right. Now it tells you in the book of Ezekiel five and sixteen, when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you and break your staff of bread. Now this is Yahba Shem Yahushai. This applied to Israel back then, but guess what? This applies to the so-called white man and Israel today. It's the Lord that brings famine. It's the Lord that that um, uh, giveth and the Lord taketh away. And the Lord has determined that a, a, a great famine is going to happen during these um, times of tribulation and judgment. And many of the people that are on the earth are going to die by way of that famine. They're going to starve to death for lack of food, for lack of bread. In fact, uh, a, a lot of the um, the killings that are going to be done are going to be for the lack of bread pursuant to 2nd Nation to 15th chapter. People are going to kill their neighbors for a lack of bread, kill their family members even for a lack of bread. Now, this is the book of Sirach 40. And um, we're going to start from, from um, verse 8. It says, such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation and the scorch. Okay, so we see there that famine is one of the Heavenly Father's methods um, for, for judgment upon the wicked. Okay. You see, the elites, they have an agenda to depopulate the earth um, by, by, you know, by war, by famine, you know, by biological weapons. But ultimately, that's the, 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 the elites, the wicked is the sword of the Heavenly Father. And they're going to get to achieve a lot of their goals, except for the fact that they're not going to establish their new world order. The son of the heavenly father is going to establish his order. But the, the elites have planned this, man. But ultimately, it's really the plan of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And that part of the plan is going to come to pass. They're going to cause mass chaos. And in that chaos, there's going to be race riots. There's going to be uh, wars between these different nations. Martial law. And there's going to be famine. Alright? And... The scriptures speak about famine, man. That ain't that ain't the best way to go. Um, Lamentations four and nine says, "They that be slain with the sword are better than they that that be slain with hunger, for these pine away, stricken through for one of the fruits of the field." So that's a terrible death, and the scriptures say many are gonna die of that famine, pursuing back to Second Esther the sixteenth chapter. So check out the um, documentary, you know, that I'm going to upload. And um, hey, the only way to escape these things is if is to believe upon the son of the heavenly father, which is Yahweh Shai. Point blank, simple. Point blank. There's